All right, everyone, welcome back. And looking at QNT, and QNT is a beast, man. This thing just always goes up. Uh, but with that being said, from the last update, I think we were looking at this LA wave count. Uh, I have to, I had to actually extend it from here to up here. So we just keep breaking resistance. We keep going higher on QNT. Um, so if this is the top now. You can see we did complete our fifth wave or we could adjust it next time if we need to if we keep going higher you know as long as this wave doesn't get larger than the third wave here then we're still good uh, so we're still good right now so what to look for now uh your next stop on qnt is going to be 176 up here you're at 151 at the moment uh you did just get over support and you're kind of just hanging around on top of it uh or resistance rather and now you're holding it as support so as long as you hold this 147 support, you're still good to keep making higher highs and just keep moving on up. Um, so what to look for now from where you are right now, your next resistance at 176, you're looking at about a 17% move. Get past 176, then 207 is the next stop at about a 37% move. So just kind of watch those prices if QNT keeps climbing higher. Uh, if for some reason you do pull back and you lose the support at 147, you're going to drop down here to about 129, and that will be your first support line. So from where you are right now, if you lose this support here, you're coming down here to this 129, and you're looking at about a 14, 14.5% move. So other than that, you know, just kind of watch those couple of prices there, those support and resistance levels. Uh, like I said, QNT looks good. It's just it's just constantly climbing higher uh, as everything else kind of uh, takes a dump. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.